objective of the rest of tonight's stream is oh yeah I can now go up here it has a slug I don't care but thanks game how nice of you I know I don't have the space for it. Can I, can I please still pick it up? God damn it. Fine. I'll temporarily put some stuff in it. Okay, well, I didn't need to. Apparently, I was carrying some grass. These three. The problem is that we don't currently have any of the reinforced metal plates. Let's see, if I then start to take on... <clears throat> well, smelters are the number one thing, so... Let's get to work on those. So these things are going to output 120 ore per minute. And a single smelter can handle, wait for it, Thirty in, thirty out. We can. I, th I think we can un enrich one of these with limes limestone, can't we? It's impure. But do we care? No. Still gonna make 60 with the new miners.
Is it worth it? Basic iron. Nah, it's not worth it. Screw this. I'm not going to start messing with it now. Get out of here, stupid. Not enough space to pick up leaves. Well, why is my inventory having an empty slot then? I don't know. I can pick up some leaves, but not other leaves, and I don't understand how that works. Or maybe it's just not happy about wood. I don't know. I'm gonna actually change this up, so. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Okay. How do I know if it's aligned? Okay, it's like... I just have to... make an educated guess here. I think that's roughly how it is, but I can't know if it's aligned in this direction, too. It's a complete crapshoot! No, 
now we go back here. We check, and I think it is pretty good. Next order of business is... I'm gonna make a temporary crafting bench here. Oh, right! Also... Mark II power poles. That's the good stuff. Then we need to do splitters. So for each pair, we'll have a split of 60 and 60. That ain't right, boy. Duplicate that upstairs. And before that, we're going to have a split into two. These took 30, right? So this puts out 120. We shove the 120 into this. Split it into 60 and 60. 160 goes upstairs, one stays downstairs, and those get split 30-30. Huh? I need to make some... Reinforced plate. I'm only going to fire off one of these things to start with. But I need enough to get the first part of it running so it can generate more reinforced iron plate for me. And then it can feed the rest of the system. Although th right now I think we might be having an excess forming in the base. So rather than sit here and do this, I'm going to go quickly visit back into the base. While I'm doing that, we can actually... ...do this.
This can reach quite far. Okay, yeah, this can this can reach very far. Holy shit. Wire is now too long. Okay, that's the limit. have power connection. And yeah, we're gonna tear all of those old shitty wires out and replace them with this stuff, because this is good. This is very good. Uh, what was I here for? These. Also a bit of these. Sorry, I'm gonna grab these now, because I need them. Thanks. So now, I can actually just climb into this thing, configure it. And I can just get to where I need to be. So, let's start with this first one. Let's rotate it around, because there's no reason to keep it that in that orientation. No power. Getting alarmingly close to our consumption limit, though. feeling we'll, we're going to start running out of power soon again. That's too high up, and I have to redo it manually. That's annoying. There. So these two now produce 60.
there. So now we have ingots coming up the wazoo. And we have two lines producing 60 each. How are we doing on power? Oh, we're only consuming 500 something. Yeah, we're we're not even close to being in trouble here. Fuck it. Fire up more of the machinery. perfectly aligned, but I will live with it. There. So iron ingots are still only used to make plates and rods. So let's look into their quantities then. So we have 180 ingots per minute coming through here. That's a 60. That can feed... Well, wait. The iron plates are just one for one. And it generates 20 plates. 60. And if we do the same upstairs, it'll be 120. Definitely do more. So we don't need this merger if we're just doing iron plates here. So that's, that put half our production into iron plates. The 
these don't need to be so fucking long. I can just natively stack these. They need to be a little bit further out, but not that far out. happened there? Why are they misaligned? There we go. That's more like it. I think they're still not right. Yeah, they're too close now, because... because I'm an idiot. Hard. Hard to get these aligned, goddammit. They still don't have power. They can soon start to produce iron plate. Producing 360, unlike I previously said. And then the plates are going to consume 8 times 30. So they're consuming 240. Which leaves 120 for the rods. Chunk.
So there's the plate production. And it's gonna get merged down quite hard. 40, 80, 120. I hate that it's unbalanced. So it's 8 times 20. We're gonna have to see how that goes once we get to the next phase. But first, time to make some rods. That's gonna happen in the rod wing. And if memory serves, that doesn't take much of anything. So you know what, actually? But we need a shit ton of screws. We need a shit ton of rods. It might be slow, but it is imperative. So again, there's no point in merging this line. Unless we make a separate building for these things. Which we might do, actually. Fuck it. You know what? We'll do a separate building. We'll make a walkway from upstairs. We'll have a separate wing. That produces nothing else. Meanwhile... Iron plates are used for what? Gas filters, the only thing we're stably using them for is reinforced iron plate. So, let's start preparing for that. So I could merge those into a belt free. But is there a point to that here? Not really. That degree of optimization is still kind of beyond us. I don't see it as necessary. I may come to regret this decision, which is kind of standard operating procedure over here.
I'm not happy with that. I'm gonna go add a little bit of a lip to the belt so it doesn't clip. Yes, I'm that much of a perfectionist. It has to look good. So we'll give it... Exactly that much lip. What? No, no, no. And then it's gonna come down to here. And now it doesn't clip. Perfect. Stop floating so much. Behold! The output! Okay. So now we have the plates outputting four belts of 40 plates each. Because otherwise we have an uneven belt somewhere and it would piss me off. But the question is, how many plates does the assembler want per minute? It just wants 30. Well, that's a fucking annoying thing, because then it's, we're going to have wasted capacity. Because we are producing a quantity that's splittable by 30, aren't we? No, we're not. No, we're not. And that's annoying. It's just, just this much annoyance that it doesn't line up. So we either make it Badly imbalanced machine or a slightly imbalanced machine, and I don't know which is worse. now 40 Christ this is annoying this is so annoying but I think I know what I have to do even though it is annoying Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned, but I see no alternatives here. This was a beautiful thing until it wasn't. But I refuse to leave it the way it just was. I want it to be better. So, this is now outputting 40, and this is outputting 40. Thank you. 
Now this one will be outputting 40. Meanwhile, these will be merged into a 60 and a 60 and then split into 30 and 30, which gives us four times 30, which is four full lines going into, or four, four optimal lines going into the assemblers. And then one which has a slight excess, which we don't mind. We're going to deal with it and it's going to be awful but that's how we're gonna have to do it now okay <sighs> was any of this worth the effort no it wasn't definitely wasn't but fuck it logistics are a nightmare as we always end up having to learn. Now, so that's a 40. We merge it to a 20. Plus 40, and it's there. forward a bit. Too steep. I hate it so much. it works. Oh, I hate it so much. But it works. But nothing. Those aren't So 60, 40, 60. Is the output ratios there? And for now, we're going to build them. A logistics hub. Now let's get to the rods. We were supposed to be making the rods, so... Like so, and then the other one... Managed to fuck it up anyway. It's okay. I can fix it. There. 
And so these are now also 60 and 60. And they're gonna go... to building number two. Why did I actually even make this lift? Don't do it like that. We're gonna do it like this instead. Does this make any sense? I don't know. Probably not. Backwards. Oh yeah, that's a merger. Let's, let's use the right line from it, at least. So it can work. Okay. So we have 60 times 2 divided by 15, so we get to make 8 machines that produce. Wait, what if I wasn't an idiot? And instead I built them like this. which then sticks mergers between them, because if these are making rods, they're only making 15 per minute. So 15, 15, 30, 15, 15, 30, 60, another 60, and then we can output both lines out, out here. That'll be a full belt of rods. And a second full belt of rods. And now what we gotta do is route the inputs 
which is also 15. So these both need to be double split. So the first belt's gonna come from here. And this first split is gonna split it up into... 230s. And it, those will then just immediately split into... 15s. So that gets split into four. And those should all have 15 per minute. These machines don't yet have power, which would be useful to have. And there you go. Now to do the same split on here. Doing. 
And there you go. Nah, we don't want to do that. That looks ugly. But we can do it here. How are you two not aligned? What the fuck? How does... You are! Why doesn't the line show it? What the... F I don't like these anymore. Let's do it slightly differently. You can, you can do it, boys. And from here, we output a line to here. Where the next line of production begins. Oh, boy. line should be fully saturated and it looks like it is so next up we need to start making screws so we're getting hundred and twenty rods per minute okay are rods used for anything other than the screws Rotors and modular frames use them. So we do want some of them stored away. Wait, what did I just... Uh, was it... Rain, why? Go look in the, into the uh, shopping machine thingy to see if we can start to build 
proper ladders, because this is a pain in the ass, moving from floor to floor. But okay. No! Unacceptable, unacceptable, unacceptable. Awful, awful, awful. That will not do. Also, these are kind of fucked, too. Okay, fine. So if these each take 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and half of the rods will store elsewhere for other uses. Which means... But this was very pointless, That what we just did here. This was complete bullshit. There was zero justification for doing it like this. Because we don't need to merge them if we're just going to split them like 50 meters away. <laughs> so, let's, instead, let's do it like this. I'm out of plates! Good thing we should have a shit ton of those around here. Because we're not using them for anything yet. Concrete's the actual thing is probably going to run out before we get too far with this stuff. But let's see. Yeah, we're actually completely out of concrete already. I need to go get some more. I'll be back. I want to finish this build before I finish for the night. It is 1.30 in the morning. So that's a concern. But we'll deal. So actually, hold on. No, I'm I'm still stupid, because I don't need to. really even bring both of these on. How did you even do that? Okay, so... First we split this bad boy up. Because it's a 60 line. One half of it gets sent upstairs. To what I hope is the right height. Let's go check, because I, I can't see. Oh, wait. This thing's in the way. This thing is badly in the way.
I have an idea. Does that work? Not there. I want to see that it works. Ingots come in and they should split into these two lines. One, one, one. Why is nothing going to the other one? There we go. It had it had disconnected. That's why I wanted to check it, because I wasn't sure. have it. Okay, and these should then make one mergeable 120 line. And another one upstairs. So then we have the screws. Two lines of 120. Blah! Oh yeah, there's no floor. We need floor. Sir, the factory requires a floor. Shit, it doesn't have one. Why is it trying to build it at a 45 degree angle game? I'm definitely going to have to go to the shop to check out if there is something to let me build ladders. Interfloor ladders, please. I would much appreciate having those. Okay, and a merger.
And there you have it. Two 120 strong lines of... Why aren't those aligned? <laughs> Why aren't they aligned? Why? Christ, that's annoying. I don't care. Fine. Oh, now you're not gonna... Yes, you are. Good. Okay. I need to go back and grab more iron plates. And then we're gonna finalize the creation. Because now we have screws. Shit ton of screws. And a shit ton of new plates. So, if everything's right in the world, the next and final step is assembling those into reinforced plate. Dear Lord, let it be so. Let's go set up the assembly machines. So, first question, before I build anything for real, assembler. To make plate, you need 30 plates and 60 screws per minute. Okay. So we can support four of those I think I already forgot this was a 60 60 and a 40 so that 40 line can go stockpile somewhere and the 260 lines can move out to there to the assemblers so let's start building the assemblers Assembler the first. Assembler the second. And then from the other side. Which I think we can part these out differently. So, assemble the first. give them plenty of space. Why the hell not? That's why. I don't want you exceeding. physical building limitations because it looks ag ugly as sin. Let's hope that's enough. Okay.
Okay, then we need... One splitter here. For the iron plates. Those get channeled onto the inner ones. And then upstairs, we'll have a second set. Plates. Give me delicious iron plates. Yum, yum, yum. Now, unless I screwed something up, which wouldn't be new, we connect these to power, and we should have four fully powered assemblers pumping out raw, unadulterated, Reinforced plate. And they now output five per minute. After all of this industry is set up, they output five per minute. So all this effort provides us with a grand total of 20. Stupid fucking plates. That's not good. For a minute.
and it should balance out. Okay, these screw belts don't look full to me. Is it because I'm running them too slow? Yeah, if this output's 40 and that output's 40, these are supposed to be... Fire speed belts. Right up until they reach the splitters. Now they should be able to fully saturate. That would have been a dumb mistake to make. We have production! Which we can now transport to, let's see. Yeah, we, we can stockpile the small excess of rods and plates. Because rods are needed elsewhere. We don't want to use all those up. So I'm going to bring the excess out to here. This will be our little warehousing platform. I really need to go to sleep soon, but hey, fuck it. So we have the one small belt that could... Other, which has the excess rods on it, which I can actually transport like across here. In this really nasty and dirty way to like circumvent the entire factory. <laughs> Ah, uh, beautiful. Yeah. So those will just provide us a place for all the excess plates. So we can use it for other stuff, like picking up into our own inventory. And some excess rods, which can be used for manufacturing of other goods that require rods. Okay. Um, as my final note, I think I should connect, or should I? Hold on. So we're currently using the reinforced plate here, here. So if we just include it into this, Sure, it's a bit ugly, but fuck it. Yeah. Perfect. And when I say perfect, I mean atrocious and terrible, and no one should ever do this. Yet I'm gonna do it. Oh 
Oh yeah, it's over there. Left turn! There it goes, joining the existing production line as a really hacky upgrade, but it's going to buff up the production there. I think the next order of business is going to have to be upgrading steel production, probably. Let's see if we can make those hyper tubes before we finish. That would be a nice little crowning achievement for the night. No pipes here, but there should be pipes elsewhere. Ah, not like that. Okay, we don't have any excess here either. Okay, I think we need to start manufacturing motors next. So, hold on. Ah, I'm, I'm getting really tired here. So yeah, make motors. And improve steel production somehow. Let's head back. I want to get a last... Last look of our base before we wrap it up. Because this has, this thing has gotten way out of hand. Also, we should have new tickets. So we can do some shopping. Here complete! By adding hypertube entrances at both ends of hypertubes, pioneers can achieve two-way travel between locations. They are also error percent safer than jump pads. You dreamed of moving across factories like valued resources such as rocks and water and fix it listen to your dreams. We watched them. We took extensive notes. Hypertubes. Because fix it makes pioneers closely monitored dreams come true. It is speculated that, in the earliest days of humanity, people created drums and similar instruments to derive pleasure and social unity from the rhythmic sounds, accompanied by gyratory movements. Congratulations for unlocking a device that, thousands of years later, fulfills exactly the same function, except with a requirement for rare metals and plastic components. Okay, I think that's enough for the night. Where did my... Where do I get my, like... I love it, they have a dark mode for that. Did the boombox materialize in my inventory? Where does it go? Or did I unlock the crafting recipe for it? Where's my, where's my boom box? I 
I don't know how that worked, but... Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna spend. Actually, you know. Purchase! Where did you leave your lizard doggos? What's in this storage container? Where did you put the essential components needed to save humanity? Do you wish there was text to prevent you from constantly taking the wrong turn? Disguise Kinda. your struggles to comprehend the complexity of your surroundings with signs. Next orders of business are upgrade the iron and copper smelteries, both of the iron smelteries, upgrade the coal and steel factory, and yeah, we should be able to improve production massively by then. And I want to get that phase two thing complete as soon as possible. And that's going to take... I think steel is going to be priority one here. Steel is what we need the most. And I also want to start building those motors, which take statters, which we should... I do, I, we have a statter factory, right? We're building statters here. By the shitload. Somewhere. Where? Where? Are you making statters? No, you're making automatic wiring, which takes... Alright, I'm gonna stop these. And we're gonna change their recipe so they take... They stop taking cable. And instead, we're gonna start bringing in... rotors, which we have in abundance. I need to do that before I forget. I'm gonna I'm gonna melt my brain otherwise. We have them nearby. They're not far away. How many did you need? Not many, right? Ten per minute, so a slow belch should be sufficient. So I'm just gonna just gonna like no because I know we have a bunch of rotors in a box here. I want them. Give me my rotors. Give them to me now. I can see them. I can smell them. elevator that pushes them out but now I need to change it so it's a splitter here that's not a huge ask I think so split it it 
it's a bit of a big ass because it's a kind of shit place for it, but... That goes in. And then the elevator can be moved here. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, no. No! Pretend you don't see that. Ah, oh, it hurts my soul. I can't leave it like that, can I? fixed. No more ugly overlaps. And now we're going to start building motors, which don't need to go anywhere for now. Right? So you're going to be making motors now. So we're just going to disable the output for this. Because we're going to stockpile those, because... Yeah. <laughs> Give me the lift! Christ. Motor! What do we use motors for? Nothing! We'll stockpile a bunch of them. Because we should have those other things already stockpiled by the dozen. Yeah, okay, so... We have just built a satellite base for making reinforced plate. We'll make other satellite bases that produce other things. Probably more reinforced plate as well. Yeah, we have plenty of automated wiring should we need it more of it, but right now I don't think we do. So this is what we really need. All right, that's it. I've been playing far too long. I'm way too tired and I have to work in the morning. Thanks for watching. Good night.